What is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. If you're new here, welcome. I try to put out videos on a consistent basis, sometimes daily, sometimes not, but I at least try to entertain you if nothing else. And with all of that said, make sure you subscribe and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, let's talk about John Riggins for a little bit. Now, John Riggins came out on his podcast uh, sometime last week, and he talked about the jerseys, the brand new jerseys for the Washington Commanders, and they decided to make a John Riggins jersey. There was big old number 44 there on the uh, Fanatics website, on the team's, uh, uh, the team's shop. I'll get that out in just a second. And so everybody was... Uh, Kind of, I mean, some people were a little taken back by it, I think, and other people were excited, like, wow, a John Riggins jersey in a Washington Commanders uniform. And, and so John Riggins came out, and he just blasted it. He said, why are you celebrating? He was actually talking to his other former teammates who came out in support uh, the day that they uh, revealed the brand-new team name. He was like, why are you coming out in support of your own funeral? Yeah, obviously, we know what John Riggins thought of the new name Washington Commanders. He hated it. He was like, I am not, I did not play for the Washington Commanders. I played for the Washington Redskins. And now I'm probably, you know, paraphrasing on that. But, you know, he's like, basically, to sum up, he did not want his jersey sold as Washington commander because he didn't play for that team. I mean, it is, uh, I will say, it probably is a little bit blasphemous. I mean, if you think about it for a second, did Earl Campbell play for the Tennessee Titans? No, he played for the Houston Oilers. You can argue that uh, Earl Campbell, or you can argue argue that the Houston Oilers, I cannot talk today, folks, the Houston Oilers, and the Tennessee Titans are the same franchise, and technically, yes, they moved and they changed their name. But still, Earl Campbell never played a down in a Tennessee Titan uniform. Neither did John Riggins play a down in a Washington Commanders uniform. Nor did he, if you want to get technical about it, nor did he play a down in a Washington football team uniform. But, you know, we can kind of skirt by that because technically when John Riggins played, and honestly up until I would say in the last, I don't know when they changed it, maybe it was, um, maybe it was the mid-2000s, but there was no name on the front of the jerseys. Um, at least for the Washington Redskins, um, up until maybe the in the 2000s. So John Riggins didn't even have a team name on his uniform at all. It was just, you know, number 44 and then his last name on the back. And true for a lot of Washington Redskins former players, Hall of Famers, and even... You want to argue, I think even Sean Taylor, you look at it. I don't even think Sean Taylor, maybe by his error, they may have started putting the Redskins name on the front. I don't think so, though, but I'm not sure on that. I, I would really have to go back and see. But, you know, honestly, I agree wholeheartedly with John Riggins. I just don't think that any of the former players, especially – the Hall of Famers, you don't go and slap their names on the back of a Washington Commanders jersey because they didn't play for that team. You're, it's almost like you're trying to completely whitewash history. You know, you, you want to do away with anything that had to do with Redskins. And, you know, whatever your thoughts and ideas are on the nickname and there's certainly been some strong ideas on both sides of the fence regarding the nickname that is what the nickname was 
And, you know, it was... I can say this with full certainty. I don't really believe at all that the nickname was, you know, meant to be in a derogatory form, and it was one that the team had for 80-plus years. So having said that, I don't really see the need to have to, you know, if if somebody wants to go and buy a Joe Theismann jersey or John Riggins jersey, Daryl Green, Art Monk, why would you have to settle for, oh, I've got to buy a Washington Commanders jersey in order to get those jerseys? Why do that? Why not just have those jerseys, you know, you don't have to put the name Redskins on the front because then again, they didn't have the name Redskins on the front. Just have them in either a burgundy or a white jersey with their names on the back, their numbers, and fans will still eat them up. I would buy that. I mean, honestly, I have a John Riggins jersey. Um, I don't have a Joe Theismann jersey. I would really had thought about buying, going back and buying like Daryl Greens and uh, Joe Theismann's and Art Monks and things like that. I just haven't had a chance to. And now I'm kind of like, well, am I going to have that opportunity or, or am I going to have, have to hit the bay in order to find those jerseys? Because I really do not want to buy those jerseys as Washington Commanders because it's not authentic to me. You know, those guys did not play for the Washington Commanders. I would rather buy Washington Commander jerseys for guys like Terry McLaurin, um, whoever our future franchise quarterback is going to be, uh, Chase Young, Montez Sweat, you know, guys who I hope and assume are going to be with the team for a few years. Uh, so, you know, the new guys, the new blood, right? I, I would rather buy commander jerseys for those guys and then for the Hall of Famers that I would still like to have, Though that has to be authentic. They played for the Redskins. And I see nothing wrong with maintaining that history because that history is what built what little fan base I think we still have left. You know, the Redskins fan base and that Redskins history is what brought us three Super Bowls and what brought us a couple of NFL championships. And so I think we need to remember that. So, John Riggins, I salute you, man. You know, other people look at him as the get-off-my-lawn guy. Hey, man, I salute him. He was, He's my favorite player. He was my favorite player when I watched him growing up, and I was so honored. I was so lucky to have been able to have seen him play as I was growing up. Those times I will never get back, and so I applaud John Riggins. You know, nothing against uh, Washington Commanders or anything like that. They're still my team, but John Riggins will and forever will be a Washington Redskins. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like it, share it, give me a comment. Let me know what you think on this. Uh, do you think John Riggins was in the right or in the wrong? And with that said, I will see you in the next one. Let's go Maniacs.